Hey guys, Jessamine here, and welcome to the game today in gaming episode 16. And uh, today we have a v PlayStation Vita centric episode, so let's just jump right into it. So first up, we have some information about the PlayStation Vita's battery life. As you know, as you may know, um, in the previous my previous video, I reported that the PlayStation Vita will have three to five hours of battery life. And if this this doesn't seem to satisfy uh, most of you, then you guys can opt for the external uh, battery peripheral, which will um, Escalate the PlayStation Vita, the PlayStation Vita's ba measly three to five hour battery life to a whopping nine to fifteen hours of battery life. Um, this uh, peripheral will launch in Japan on the launch day, and uh, and it'll uh, it'll launch at twenty twenty eight hundred yen, which is about twenty eight dollars for you Americans. And uh, next up, we have some Street Fighter Cross Tekken news for uh, PlayStation Vita and the PlayStation Three. It's been announced that they will share uh, the DLC, so if you download the DLC on the PS3 version, you can uh, play the same DLC on your P PlayStation Vita, meaning that you won't have to buy the DLC again and waste um, some additional money that could instead be spent on something else that you'd like to purchase. So, uh, including this cross-platform compatibility with the DLC is indeed in, uh, something that was very needed and something that's uh, very reassuring and that developers are, in, th in fact, thinking of... Uh, Thinking of uh, good ways to to incorporate the uh, the Vita's aspects into the PS3 and to uh, make them compatible without having the consumer waste more and more money, and uh, especially this is especially uh, good coming from Capcom, somebody who has continuously decided to uh, force users to waste money. What with uh, them releasing Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3 this November, whereas Marvel vs. Capcom 3 just came out earlier uh, this spring. Uh, the same goes with Street Fighter 4 and Super Street Fighter 4, each releasing within months of each other. So the fact that they're uh, that they're including uh, that they're making the DLC compatible across platforms is very good, and many consumers will uh, be happy to know this. And if, uh, next up, we have confirmation that the P that the Nino Kuni uh, title for PS3, which is which has been compared to like a uh, Dragon Quest, uh, which has been compared to like an HD Dragon Quest X, will be coming to North America early next year, which is 2012 at the time of this recording. And uh, this is developed by Level 5 Software, some people who developed the Dark Cloud series and uh, the White Knight Chronicles series. And um, last but not least, we have some information about, we have some information uh, about the CPU at the heart of the PlayStation Vita and ARM software. The people who are behind the chips chipsets that reside between right, reside inside the iPhone, Nintendo 3DS, and now the PlayStation Vita have said that the PlayStation Vita's uh, CPU could indeed be as powerful as uh, today's standard uh, PlayStation or PC uh, CPUs. And uh, having that in mind, this is quite interesting, and uh, and it really makes you think. How strong the how strong the Vita will be in comparison to other handhelds, whether it be the past, uh, present, or possibly even the future. That being uh, that being more in the uh, smartphone market, considering smartphones better, and greater and greater smartphones are coming out each and every day, making smartphones obsolete as each day passes, and as the, uh, as more and more information about new smartphones rolls out uh, on a daily basis, and some. Some developers, like the Angry Bird developers, are saying that smartphones are indeed passing uh, home, or home consoles and handheld consoles, and the fact that the PlayStation Vita's uh, chipset is indeed uh, somewhat on par with the PC's chipsets does uh, reaffirm that this is uh, some false information. That uh, it'll take a lot for the smartphone market to be on par with the handheld market, and it reaffirms that. It reaffirms that the smartphone market will take a lot to uh, be on par with the handheld market and indeed the, uh, the home console market. So, yeah, if you guys want to check, uh, check some more information about this article, then you can. Uh, I'll have all the links to the articles in the description below. So this is just man and peace.